friends, it's Miss Darcy here. Glad to see you. Hey, let's have a little bit of fun, okay? I was thinking we could sing some songs, do a little dance. I'm gonna read you a story, and then I have a project idea too, okay? Are you ready? You wanna go play? Me too. Ready, set, one, two, three, go! Oh, hi, friends. Honey Bear here and Poochie Poochie Son are having a discussion about what to do today. <laughs> it's raining outside. Raining means they can't go outside to play, and Poochie Son really wanted to. But if Poochie Poochie Son goes in the rain, he'll get really soggy, and so will Honey Bear. Yep. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Anything? Any ideas? Mm mm. I don't know. I don't know. Me neither. Hmm, what are we gonna do then? Oh, Poochie Poochie son has an idea. <laughs> That's a great idea, Poochie Poochie son. Honey Bear, he wants to do the It's Raining song. When we do the It's Raining song, we dance and we sing. And you guys can do that with us too. So get a little room so you can move and you can sing and dance with us. Now. So you have to listen to what the words are because sometimes I might tell you to jump and sometimes I might say crawl and sometimes I might say dance and sometimes I might just say play which means you can pick up the lovey and play with it okay so let's do the song together are you ready okay I don't care if the rain comes down I'm gonna play all day I don't care if the rain comes down, I'm gonna play all day. Choo, choo, choo. Hey, hey, carry me away, I'm gonna play all day. Hey, hey, carry me away, I'm gonna play all day. I don't care if the rain comes down, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump all day. I don't care if the rain comes down, I'm gonna jump all day. Hey, hey, carry me away, I'm gonna jump all day hey hey carry me away i'm gonna jump all day i don't care if the rain comes down i'm gonna crawl all day you can crawl i don't care if the rain comes down i'm gonna crawl all day hey hey carry me away i'm gonna crawl all day hey hey carry me away i'm gonna crawl all day I don't care if the rain comes down. I'm gonna dance all day. I don't care if the rain comes down. I'm gonna dance all day. Hey, hey, carry me away. I'm gonna dance all day. Hey, hey, carry me away. I'm gonna dance all day. Oh, fun! Great! I hope you danced and crawled and jumped and played. <laughs> Was that fun? Mm -hmm. Yep, I liked it. Me too. <laughs> Hi friends, it's Miss Darcy here. Hey, it's story time. So get your lovies, snuggle down, and let's hear a story. I picked out one for you called Strictly No Elephants. Oh, don't worry, Elmer. Let's read the story first before we worry. Okay. <laughs> All right, good. All right, Strictly No Elephants, and it's written by Lisa Manchev, and it's illustrated or drawn by, I believe it's Tayun Yo. Very nice, great pictures and such a great story. Let's see. The trouble with having a tiny elephant for a pet is that you never quite fit in. No one else has an elephant. Every day I take my elephant for a walk. His is a very thoughtful sort of walk. He doesn't like cracks in the sidewalk much. So I always go back and help him over. That's what friends do, lift each other over the cracks.
Today, I'm walking my tiny elephant to number 17. It's pet club day and everyone will be there. Come along, that's a good boy. I coax him the last few feet. It'll be fine. When I look up, there's a sign on the door. Strictly no elephants. Hmm. My tiny elephant leads me back to the sidewalk. That's what friends do. They brave the scary things for you. You know, that was a little scary seeing that mean note on the door saying you can't come in. Look, he looks a little mad. Hmm. Oh, they're walking in the rain. And now he looks a little sad. So does he. Hey, look, there's a little girl sitting there with, I think it's a pet on her lap too. Did you go to the pet club meeting today too? The girl asks. Yes, I say but they don't allow elephants. The sign didn't mention skunks, the girl says, but they don't want us to play with them either. They don't know any better, I tell her. He doesn't stink, the girl adds. No, he doesn't, I agree. What if we start our own club? Come along, I say, making certain that my tiny elephant follows me, because that's what friends do. They never leave anyone behind. Oh, look, they picked up some new friends along the way. There's a giraffe and an armadillo. It looks like a narwhal and a bowl of water. <laughs> There's a penguin and a bat and a hedgehog. Oh, and there's our skunk friend and our elephant. They did, they picked up a lot of new friends along the way. We can play here, one of our new friends says. All of us. So we paint our own sign. All are welcome. That's nice. Strictly no strangers and strictly no spoil sports. What's a spoil sport? That's somebody who says you can't play and you can't play. So all are welcome here, everyone can play. That's really nice, there goes the skunk on the roof. She's gotta get him down. <laughs> My tiny elephant will give you directions if you need them. There he is, pointing the way. Oh, look, and some dogs are coming, too. That's nice. See? All are welcome. Because that's what friends do. I'm glad to see that some of the dogs came, too, because <laughs> I like dogs, too. And look, the bat's upside down. That's what bats do. Okay, Elmer, is that okay now? Yeah. You feel better? Yeah. I do, too. I'm glad that you like that. That was a nice story. Okay. Thanks for listening with me today. <laughs>
There's this, like, I think it was for making sushi or something. It's just a little bamboo mat. And then we have some blocks. And we can make little houses for the panda bears. And we can put some bamboo down. And, oh, I found this really fun little little bowl and we'll give that to them. Maybe we'll put some cotton in that and we can create a whole little panda house. It's really super cute, right? So we're adding, we're combining toys. We're adding things to toys. Okay, so here's another thought since we're all at home ordering things and getting it delivered. We have boxes. I love boxes. I love cardboard. It's really, really fun. You can make all sorts of things and, you know, Kids love to create things. So here's a great thing to create. Take a little box and let's make it into a little house. What do you say? Okay, so I cut some doors. There's the doors. And I cut some window. Here's the window. There's another window. And then my little bear can go inside. And then he can look out the window. Come on out. Oops, where are you? Hello. There he is. Comes out the window. <laughs> Right? Oh, the frog wants to join. So yeah, you can have your child decorate it with lots of different material. And then the nice thing is, is once it's decorated, right, you have it, its own little storage and you can put it away. And then they can bring it out later, which is really fun. And they can color it, right, with crayon or whatever you want to do with them. And this will take up a lot of time and a lot of fun so they really enjoy it so any kind of cardboard piece of cardboard box it's my favorite thing because they will make all sorts of lands and you can help them tape them to be together so if you have big boxes and little boxes tape it all together and they can build a whole big thing okay so, so this is an oatmeal box yep it's full of oatmeal oatmeal is great i love oatmeal it's um it's so good for their little fingers. It's so tactile. It's really fun to play with, and it's not as messy as flour or cornmeal. I do like to play with a box full of flour or cornmeal, but you really want to put that outside or someplace where it doesn't matter if it gets all over the place. So you make a tub of oatmeal. It could be a wash tub or whatever, and then put some toys in it, right? So you can have some spoons to scoop, so they can do some scooping and some pouring through their fingers. What's in here? Oh, we have a little donkey. We have a little llama. And they can go through the land. And here's some carrots for them to eat. But also, put some spoons. Put some spoons in and some bowls. So they learn scooping, right? And they learn pouring. Scooping and pouring is really good. Here's a little bag. So they can scoop and pour into the bag, and that's a really great skill to learn, right? Talks about um, spatial relationship and how to manage what you're holding, and so uh, it's good for their fingers, it's good for their spatial relationship and understanding, so that's fun. Lots of fun stuff, so I really recommend an oatmeal box, and like I said, it can be much smaller. And you can put it on the kitchen floor while you're making dinner, and they can sit there and play with this, and they will really stay involved in it, okay? All right, so there's some fun ideas. You can make your own house with cardboard boxes for your toys, and you can create nice little environments by adding toys together, blocks and rocks and uh, little lovies and dinosaurs and snakes and put them all together and have some fun. Okay, thanks. See you again. Bye.